Number Talks. Number Talks are the part of your math block where you and your students get to talk about numbers, explore problems, tell your thinking, how you got your answer. The kids are talking and you are scribing or you're demonstrating. The important part is the kids are doing the talking. You are listening, you're scribing the answers, and you're listening. You might be facilitating the conversation, but the kids are doing the talking. In kindergarten, at the beginning of the year, when we do number talks, we want to focus on subitizing or the ability to see how many objects without actually having to count. So here's a quick uh, demonstration. Uh, I call it quick images. I show them the image quick and then we talk about it. So this one, here's a, a couple of questions that I would ask. I would say, what do you see? And of course they would say one. And then I would say, how do you see it? I see there's one dot on the screen. That's easy. This one is sort of like the control in the science experiment. You start with one, everybody can count one. So it moves on from there. And then you say, how do you see? Hopefully they'll say two. And you'll notice that no, hopefully nobody had to go one, two, or maybe you'll have a couple of students that had to actually count. But hopefully the transition from this slide to this side, they can see that it's one more. Then you call on a student, you say, how did you know that that's two? I didn't, I didn't see you count like this, one, two. How did you know it was two? And what you're trying to get out of them is this answer. I know that it's two because it's one and one more. So you start to break down the numbers and you can see how this conversation can continue and be very beneficial. Then we go on to the next one. And again, the same type of conversation. Well, how many? Three. Oh, okay, Kyla, how do you see it? How do you know it's three? I see two and one more. Now, the beginning students might still say, because I see one, two, and three. And you always want to accept the answer. You say, yes, there is three. But if that's not the answer you're looking for, what you do is you ask someone else to say, oh, thank you for sharing. Yes, you can count one, two, three. Can somebody tell me how they know it's three without counting? And then they would hopefully say, I know it's three because it's two and one more. Now we continue. Now this time it did not change numbers, but it changed orientation. So hopefully they'll still they'll say it's still three. And then I like to say, wait a minute. So you're telling me it doesn't matter if they if they move around. It's, it's still three. You know what if I? How about now? Still three, still three. And then I'll ask, how do you know it's three? Because I didn't see you counting. You're wanting them to get eventually to start talking in terms of groups of numbers. I see two and one more. That's how I know it's three. And the next slide, one disappears. Same conversation. It's two. How, how do you know it's two? Tell me. Explain your thinking. I know it's two because it's there was three and one went away. Or you can say, because I see one and one more. And you continue on. Two and one more is three. And the idea is that throughout the year or th yeah, throughout the year, it's going to be more complicated. We're going to start working with larger groups. We'll see a group of three and a group of three. We'll start using 10 frames. So there'll be a 10 frame and some of them filled in. Uh, and eventually we'll get to a point where I'll have a hundred chart projected and like five rows of the hundred chart are colored in and I'll say, what do you see? And they'll say 50. How do you know? Because half the chart is full. So it, it builds upon itself and it it's a it's a part of the day like I said where you get to talk about numbers and it really builds that number sense so um, if you have not if you've not tried this go ahead and give it a try in your class it is important to it is important to um, <clears throat> think about your positioning and also think about what slide comes after what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually link this presentation, this document, to underneath the description below so you can have access and you don't have to recreate the wheel. I'll give you my quick images PowerPoint. That way you can use it in your classroom. So make it a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video and use it in your class. It'll be a, make a big difference in your number talks.